Hello guys, fairbinaryoptions.com here. We're looking today, as you can see, it is still uh, the, the 12th of uh, November and we're looking here on the Australian dollar and the US dollar with some, let's say, uh, bullish eyes and the reason for that stays with this picture here, with this contracting triangle here. It is a contracting triangle, believe it or not. It is an ugly contracting triangle, yes, but nevertheless it's a contracting triangle. The funny part is that this contracting triangle comes after an impulsive move. What is the impulsive move? Well, the, imp the impulsive move here is a first wave extension that starts from the lows here and goes to the highs here, something like this. One, two, three, four, Five. and there is a first wave extension so this would be from my point of view the end of a wave A like this and now we should look for a B wave of the same degree now the B wave of the same degree from my point of view it is nothing but a contracting triangle and this contracting triangle here should at least um, let's say uh, from a technical point of view should uh, this triangle should break higher not only that it should break higher but it should do that in quite an aggressive way and if you want to say alright this is not a contracting triangle well if it is not a contracting triangle then definitely I would say it is price that is retesting the trend line looking like this to be the ANC trend line and this to be now the BND trend line from here to here. Why here? Because of a lower degree, this is another triangle here that goes A, B, C, D, E and ends with this moment of time. So this is the end of the B to D trend line. You might say, alright, if that is the case, then the B, the, the D wave here pierces the trend line, the B to D trend line. That is allowable. There is not, there, or there is nothing wrong with that kind of a move. Therefore, I would look for this to be A, B, C, D, E. Let me actually take a, poly, a polyline from here. So this to be A, B, C, D, and then the E way somewhere around here. And then for price to go for the C wave to the upside. Now, what we, uh, what we have here is a so-called possible zigzag and in a zigzag we should look for the time element on, the, on wave A to be respected on the right side on the C wave and this is crucial in terms of uh, identifying if the zigzag is indeed a um, um, let's say a valid pattern or not. I would say it is and this is a nice place to go and buy call options on the on the cross on the Australian dollar and New, New Zealand dollar and these call options normally should be bought with end of week expiration date. This is still Wednesday and end of week expiration date means by um, by next let's say Friday by the time the US markets are going to close we should see if this option expires in the money or not. So buying call options with end of week expiration date for the Australian dollar and the New Zealand dollar in a, let's say, cross that should punish the uh, New Zealand dollar, US dollar longs from my point of view. Thank you very much for being here. This is fairbinaryoptions.com. Call options on the Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar. Bye bye.